Where's my mic? Hello, America, from Columbus, Ohio, home of the Ohio State Buckeyes. How's that for kissing a baby? Uh, also, please welcome the vice president of Cube, which is the uh, phenomenon within the television industry about which you may have read so much of late. Two-way television. There are people watching us right now. Obviously, we're live in Columbus. I'm going to insult the intelligence of a lot of people, I have a feeling, as I go along here. And I will just presume that you haven't had an opportunity to really study what this is about. We are here for a very special reason. Cube is that system that allows subscribers to talk back to their television set. So while we are, as this moment, live in Columbus, there are untold numbers of people out there waiting to talk back to us. We want to demonstrate Cube for you tell you about its consequence, and maybe just raise your consciousness a bit, and then perhaps make you a little bit better uh, conversationalist. Dr. Vivian Horner is uh, Vice President of CUBE. Thank you for being here and for helping us out for what I'm, this is, the first thing I want to know is how many people are watching. Let's ask. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, great uh, computer in the sky. <laughs> I'm afraid to ask. Uh, how many people are watching us at this moment? Can we have that, let's, let's try that uh, first. Uh, as we, as we wait for the computer to tabulate, uh, that's the computer that's doing the job of determining how many people are, all right, all right. Now can we see that, uh, how many people are watching? If, it, if you say zero, I'm gonna feel very, very rejected, all right? <laughs> Is it, uh, have we determined it? Just tell me, it's not gonna. All right, let me start with the first question, all right? Let's, let's see the first question. Number one. Oh, you'll get the number first. All right. All right, when you go like this in Chicago, that means you're going down the drain, Charlie. All right. Uh, okay. uh, all right. Uh, do we have it? 540. We have 540 households. 540 households watching us right now. All right. All right. Oh, God love them and thank the computer for giving us that. All right. Now, what's important about this is actually the stall there was not the computer. It was our ability to visually present it to you. Every six seconds, the computer tells engineers and the, the people who run Cube, which happens to be owned by Warner Communications, how many people are watching. Think of the consequence of this now. Every six seconds, absolutely accurate, automatic, electronic calculations about how many people are watching the set. All right, we'll take another reading in about 30 minutes. Now, let's, let's take our first question. Dr. Horner, you ready? Number one, Marcy, let's, let's try number one, and those of you here in the studio audience can mentally go along with us on this. We will visually present with you, to you the first uh, of the questions on the air, and then you can tabulate. Those of you watching around the country are obviously not going to be able to electronically participate. Here is question number one. Should couples live together before marriage? Now we have 540 households connected. Number one is yes, number two is no. I'll show you the council they're using or the box or whatever we want in a moment. All right? Cube subscribers are now voting as it were. All right? Let's tabulate, okay? It'll take uh, no more than seven seconds for all of us to know the answer to that. You have any guesses as to what they might say? Mm, 50-50. All right, you're gonna, you say 50-50, let's find out. Here are the... 53% say yes, 47% say no. Is that a surprise? Welcome to America in the 70s. <laughs> All right? That's a, listen, I may not need the computer if you're gonna be this good. Let's try two, Marcy. Number two. All right? I don't wanna bore you with uh, repeating myself, but 540 households are at this moment connected to us and responding to these questions. Here is question number two. This is, a, uh, this is a multiple choice. The best age for a person to get married is, number one, 18 to 21, two, 22 to 25, three, 26 to 29, or four, 30 or over. All right, see him? Take a good look, Cube subscribers. We're anxiously awaiting your guess or your feeling as to the best age to get married. All right, let's tabulate. Anybody want to guess? Three. Two, three. Yeah. All right. All right. We are in Columbus, Ohio, which, uh, if you're going to Mid-America, this is as nice a place to be. And uh, the people here are people who, how, how do you feel about this? Look at that, 22 to 25, 54%. 36% want, uh, 
would like to s see people wait until after they're 26. What's very interesting about that is uh, most people think marriage should happen somewhere between 22 and 29. After that, and before that is too early, after that, why did you wait so long? What's a nice looking girl like you doing? All right, can we get just a little, uh, any comment at all? Or just, uh, this is, uh, is, it, is it all over if you're over 30? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. Let's get a little, just a little heavier now as we poll our CUBE subscribers. Number three, Marcy. This is, uh, these are questions that we developed and we thought maybe you'd like to share with us uh, some of the answers. All right, here is question number three. Do you believe in abortion on demand? One is yes, two is no, three, only if the mother's life is in danger. Okay? One, yes, two, no, three, only if mother's life is in danger. Please tabulate this for us. If you're just joining us, we're in Columbus, Ohio, the home of CUBE, that system that allows the viewers at home to interact, as it were, with the program that's happening at the very moment on the television set. One of the interesting features of CUBE is that the, it starts some really interesting family dialogue. For example, what if mother disagrees with father? Who's going to vote? Here's the answer. 50% believe yes, 12% say no, and 39% believe only if the mother's life is in danger. How do you feel about those numbers? Is that a surprise to you?